Good morning. Good morning. I want to wish you a beautiful, blessed morning or whenever this uh, finds you. If you're with me live, I, I welcome you in to this. Pay attention. What can you hear? Dragonfly looking overhead. Welcome, everyone. This is Power of Pure Presence, episode number seven. This episode is 95% unplanned. I find myself in another beautiful destination. I'm going to share that with you today. I want to welcome you to pause and breathe. We're going to talk about the power of this breath as we grow a deeper understanding of the power of a conscious breath. I do have a story to share about my week. We're going to talk about coherence and my experience with Julie Gandhi this past week. I had some incredible downloads. I shared some of it on the morning show. We do every day at 745. But I want you to pause right now because that's really what this is about. This is about infusing this into your life. Rather than seeking it conceptually to understand what, what's going to happen, it's more of a discovery and, a, and, a, and an allowance of the deeper part of life that's not attached to the noise we hear in society or in the noise in our own mind that we don't know how it gets there sometimes. And the brain is such incredible capacity. I'm going to do my best attempt. Words are limited at best. What we're going to talk about in the power of pure presence can't really be put into words. And that's what makes it so amazing. Part of it is my presence with you here this morning, my perceptions, some concepts, but ultimately it's your journey of presence. It's your journey of infusing presence into your life to live life fully right now, to make that a practice. So rather than thinking you got to go meditate or pray for an hour, many people can't do that or don't do that or just not, it's not part of their lifestyle. But what we can do, we can infuse consciousness and awareness and breath while we're living life. And then we can create a beautiful experience where we become more fulfilled as life unfolds and we're not a victim to the latest headline or the news of our mind so i'm going to pause right now i want to grab your shares today to you your presence here with me co-creates the space here so while i'm going to talk i feel you i honor you i appreciate you we are going to do some gratitude this morning i already uh, sending you lots of love this morning because in the end it's all about love that's really what it's about so if you are a chase and race strive and drive type of a person this is specifically for you you you're not going to solve your problem by more thinking because it's the thinking that got you where you are and i'm going to share this before we pause i wrote this down the other day more information is no longer the solution. More information is no longer the solution. The solution is the void of information. The silence, the pause, the connection to the deeper part of you. So I'm going to share a quote. And I'm going to ask you to pause and breathe. And when I do, I want you to think about this. <clears throat> I want you to think about breathing in through your nose. 
as conscious breathing. And I want you to think of, if you're doing this, in, in and out of your mouth, you may have slipped into unconsciousness. And what does that mean? It doesn't mean you're passed out. It just means you're, you might be in a state of, you're in the next moment. You're not in this one. I caught myself doing this yesterday. I catch myself all the time. I'm like, um, I'm in a race to get to the next moment. And I'm stepping all over this moment. And I'm not honoring this moment. Like I'm not allowing the moment. I'm jumping in. And I lived a lot, a lot of my life that way. I spent 19 years on a quota, so I was always trying to get somewhere, get to the next goal, get to the next target. And it's life is right now. Your joy, your acceptance, your peace is not in the future. It 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 expands from right now. It augments. But it, it, it can only start right now with what we're doing, how we're living, what we're thinking. And so this show is going to bring awareness. And think about what is presence to you? What is awareness to you? We're going we're gonna to cultivate that real time today. I want to invite you to share this with one person. We're going to allow this to unfold. I'm going to allow it to unfold. <clears throat> I'm going to trust my intuition. I'm going to trust your intuition. We're going to cultivate creativity, intuition, the vacuum, the void of thinking, less information. So I want to invite you to, um, and if you're a spiritual person, instead of praying, like a lot of people focus on prayer and prayer is powerful, but it's the vo void of prayer and it just feeling the presence of. So let's just pause right now. I'm going to put this quote up because this really summarizes. Um, it's a great, this was a my download, my, my interpretation of, of the way this played out for me. So I'm going to put this up. <clears throat> I want you to read it. And I just want you to pause and give yourself the gift of being in this moment. Give yourself the gift of non-thinking. Now, don't try to get to non-thinking because that's a thinking process. The best way to do it is just allow. So I'm going to put the quote up. I want you to pause and breathe in through the nose. Belly expands. And then I just want you to observe. And we'll do this throughout the show. We'll pause and breathe throughout the show. So here we go. Pause and breathe. Notice the sounds. Presence is, uh, presence is bliss when there's nothing pouring into the moment. You're void of worry. You're void of regret. There's only right now. And we just continue to cultivate right now. This is a practice. I don't have all the solutions for you. I 
pray and trust that I'll be a, a pointer for you. Like continually pointing or guiding or directing or giving you perspective with beautiful views I'm going to share with you today, the beautiful sounds. I looked at looked at this study in pre uh, preparation uh, this earlier this week, and it said that they were measuring awe and gratitude. And by the way, you're going to see here a couple passing hikers because I'm right off the trail here, and I'll show you that later. And they said that if people who watched Planet Earth, who ever see the show Planet Earth, if you've seen Planet Earth, type that in. Let, let me know that you've seen that show. It's a beautiful cinematography. It's nature. It's amazing. And they basically said that people who watched Planet Earth, just watch nature, felt 31% more gratitude for life. 31%. So I, I was put in the post that I can't compete with planet Earth yet, but I trust that this little sliver of nature is already pouring into your life. If you feel better right now, if you feel joy, just type in what you're feeling because this is about cultivating awareness. And we start with ourselves every day on the morning show. We say, check in with yourself. How do you feel right now? So if you're listening to this live and check in with how you feel, you're free to type it in. And if you're not feeling, if, you, if, you're, if you're like starting, you could say, well, Austin, I'm not feeling good right now, but listening to nature has helped. It's starting to help me. Like you could honor how you feel right now. And I'll, I'm going to get your shares. I love your shares. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do that right now because there's so many pouring in and I just want to honor you for being here today. So I'm just going to, I'm going to pause a little bit myself as I share and honor you for being here today. <sighs> what a refreshingly God awesome day to be alive in the here and the now. Great. Good morning, Austin. Good morning to all of you. Good morning, Michelle. Glad you're here today. Good morning, Gordon Melville, host of the Long Bearded Guy Show every Friday at 12 noon. Make sure you check that out. Pause and breathing this morning. Pausing and breathing. I got really something cool to share with you, too. I saw the dragonfly coming by me. So Gordon's feeling peace and calm. And I'm going to talk about coherence. I want somebody to remind me. I got an incredible story. I had an incredible, incredible vision from being in a state of coherence. I was with Julie Gandy this week, Peace and Love Amplifiers, and she took me through this process where um, she measures the coherence of your heart through, she's a heart math coach, and she hooks you up to this device, and it literally measures when you're in a state of coherence. Think of coherence as inner peace, and that's bliss, that's, you know, your... And it's not always bliss, by the way, but it's but it's just just peaceful, easy feeling. And it was it was wonderful. And I had had some visions, saw purple hues, yellow, and then I and then there's more to it. But I'll I'll talk to you about that. So just remind me about that later. Love you too, brother. I appreciate you. Gordon has one of the biggest hearts of people I know. Man, it's amazing. So we do hashtag pause and breathe here. We're Breer, whatever. Now nah, I get you, Mandy. Pause and breathe. And allow yourself to see if you can feel liberated in the moment, like that you don't have to get somewhere. Just give yourself the freedom of space. Think spacious, expansive nature. And just allow the beautiful surrender to right now. I call it the beautiful surrender. Infuse the presence through the present moment and allowance. That's what we're talking about, allowance. <clears throat> and we got Cheryl's with us this morning. 
And so this is great because even with like meditation, it's, it's like I'm escaping from life to get somewhere else. But what I want you to do is infuse awareness into the day, throughout the day, because that's what life is. Yes, you can still grab your moments of silence and meditation. You can join Power of Pure Presence on Sunday. Yes. But think of it as an expansion, not I need to get somewhere else. That, and think about it. That's what life is. It's this expansive. It, it's this ongoing flow that never seems to stop. And yes, Michelle is um, get out of your heads. <clears throat> out of your head. Because what happens if you think about life, we tend to slip out of the heart when we get in here. And everything's about trying to figure everything out. I got to figure it out. I got to get the answers. I got to check the pecking order. I got to see where I am in the stack of life. And in the process, we become identified with form. We might lose our true self. We might be so attached to what we're supposed to be in the world that we lose the deeper meaning of who we are. Who are you? Some people have lost jobs, life changes, homes, relationships. And I, I was reflecting on this. If you've lost a job or you're going through some pain or something changed and you're feeling and you're suffering from it, how identified were you to it? If it's who I am, I am an accountant. I am uh, I don't know. I am a, a teacher, a six-figure money earner. I'm an entrepreneur. I am successful. And my business went failed. Now I'm not successful. But I attached who I am to that identity. And then you're ripped into the vacuum and you may be not knowing who you are. Eckhart Tolle says that, that losing your identity is courageous. Like, because you're, you're stepping away from the form of who I am, the definition of who I am is rooted in temporal things. And if you're, uh, and by the way, this is not good or bad. We shall not cease from exploration. And in all of our exploring, we shall arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. And that place is the present moment. Think about what we do and what society does to get out of the present moment. Earlier this week, we had, I, we had this uh, thing where I share Ben Franklin quotes from poor Richard's almanac quotes written in the 17, 1800s. And here's a, here's a quote that will amaze you. He said, uh, it, written the golden age is never the present age. The golden age is, is never the present age. Now, if we look at the collective, it was the good old days. Oh, the good old days. Back then, it was great. Back then, we had this. Back then, all that existed. Oh, it's going to be in the future. And we create this utopia in the future. The ideal state. We're striving to get to this ideal state. It happens on a, on a macro level, collective level. And when it happens on a collective level, it pours into the micro level, which is the individual level, which this moment is flawed. I'm flawed. I must manipulate. I must find the keys, the hacks, the tricks, the tips to unlock, to get somewhere. And meanwhile, I will eventually at some point in my life, I arrive back to the, this present moment and, and I know it for the first time. And it's, it's powerful. You know, when we're younger and if you're younger, you're in the, your first stage, your, your expansion, it's physical. It's a physical manifestation. Your body physically grows. you you get a house, you might expand, you got more stuff. And then there's a transition 
where the stuff starts to lose its value or you or some people become too rooted in that identity and when they lose their stuff they lose themselves but in that breaking down the subtle presence says hey it's like a tap let me show you what life's about that's the question you hear isn't it what's it all about this happened in a um, recently uh some younger people died. I won't get into all the details. And the question was, what's it all about? And that's the question posed. What's it all about? What is it all about? <clears throat> well, the complex brain, well, it's about this, 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 and this. But let's let's let that marinate. And let me keep grabbing your shares. We are going to pause and breathe again. It's already 22 minutes past the hour. I, I'm amazed. I appreciate you for being here. Mandy always asks, what would love do next? Yeah, I love this. When we, we think about thinking, we think about, am I thinking right? You know, in the book, Think and Grow Rich, it says I have to think in order to go rich. So I keep thinking. <clears throat> and by the way, I'm not saying thinking is bad. I'm saying we need it. We need to direct our thinking. But I want you to stay connected to something deeper. Uh, I said in the quote, um, achievement is a small part of success. Staying deeply rooted in who you are is the larger part of success. Good morning, Ivy. I'm glad you're here. I'm feeling a pause coming up here in a moment. Yeah, I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to step away. I'm going to let you just, just, I want you to pause and breathe. I'm going to step away for a couple minutes. I just want to do it right now, intuitively. So I just want you to pause and breathe. Listen. Listen. All right. Here's what I want to do. We're going to do this. You need to make one adjustment, everyone. One minor adjustment. <clears throat> this is something that we wanted to add uh, to this show. And um, based on our sponsor, which I'll get to in a moment. This is in the moment.
back, everyone. So much I want to share with you, but the most important thing I can share with you is that. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Peaceful. I feel that today, just observing nature, increased my gratitude. Studies have shown that just observing nature increases gratitude. Raul's feeling peace and joy. Yeah, there's the statistic. Wonderful statistic. Even observing nature virtually increases gratitude. Gratitude is the key. Cultivate being in the now. You feel the energy of this moment. Are you feeling bliss? Are you feeling peace? Are you feeling alive? Good morning, being alive. So I want to share this with everybody. Just a quick... I want to honor... Uh, Duchess DJ Love, um, she's our sponsor. I met her at the Eckhart Tolle retreat. And when I told her about the show, she was compelled to call me and she said, I want to sponsor your show. She really believed in it. And she brings presence through travel. She, she calls her gallivanting like a royal to be able to travel in style, even if you're on a budget. And she's been to 50 U.S. states, 10 countries. She was just in North Carolina in the mountains, did some beautiful video there. And if you like nature, like observing nature uh, as well, I invite you to, to follow her. She sponsors this show. I'm honored that she reached out to do it. So make sure you connect with her. Infuse awareness into your day and throughout the day. Thanks, Ivy. Hashtag pause and breathe. I'm going to keep going, everyone. I'm just grabbing your shares. Just what you're feeling. Blessed. Yeah, I have a show every day at 745. It's just on Facebook. And we read our gratitude. And I actually I haven't read the gratitude today, so I'm going to do that. So yeah, I do have a couple things planned, <laughs> not much. I'm just trusting what, what comes up intuitively for me and I'm checking your shares. So let me, let me read the gratitude because for right now, we're going to, this book by Emily Silva, I'll read this every morning at 7.45, um, just to pour some gratitude into the day. So I will, I am going to add this. And then I still have the hourglass and I have something really exciting to share with you. Today is August 14th and this is 365 uh, morning meditations for joyful days all year long for gratitude. So we'll read that now. And this book's by Emily Silva. We had her on the show a couple weeks. Uh, was that last weekend? Last weekend? <laughs> I'm losing track. Anyway, um, yeah, I think it was last weekend. Or the weekend before. Anyway, we'll figure this out. Um, August 14th. Choosing joy when life feels heavy can be a potent shift in perspective and energy. You hear that? Let me know if you can hear that. Let me know if you can hear that. You hear the bells? Chills.
I wish I could say I planned that, but I didn't. There must be a church close enough for us to hear those bells. It's beautiful. Wow. I'm still going to get to the destination. Let me finish the reading. Take the time to quiet discontent, sadness, frustration, and anxiety with joy to interrupt the comfort we feel in lower emotional states. When we flood our bodies with memory, with memories of purely joyful moments, we change our chemistry and the way we, re we react. Our nervous system responds to the flood of positive emotions and our mood lifts. Think about a time when you felt immense joy carry that moment with you throughout your day. So choose joy. I want you to choose joy right now. <laughs> I'm just amazed by this. Wow. What a gift. I'm in Wissahickon Valley Park. And I can't tell you what a blessing it is to be here because the reception is terrible here. I had to come here and I had an idea of where I could get reception. It's called Houston meadow and i will show you before the end of the show i'll walk around it's a beautiful meadow i'm right off the hiking path here i saw a buck here a young buck deer um, as i was reconnaissance and there's some people hiking but let me share this with you because this is something we normally do in the show is just we share with the hourglass as a reminder to be in the present moment yeah. Hello. hi good morning good morning so, <laughs> these, some of these people are like, who's this crazy guy with his laptop and a podium out in the middle of nature, right? But uh, this is the reminder to live in the present moment, joyfully in the present moment, that we can't go backwards. The bottom represents the past, including our mistakes. Who's made some mistakes? Anybody in here? Anybody in here made some bad mistakes? I've made a lot of mistakes. Oh, my gosh. And I appreciate them all. But we may try to go back and resurrect some grain of sand of something that passed. A past relationship. A past job. A past situation. If I could only get back to where I was. And then life says no. Life says Life beckons and says, no, no, we're here. We're here and now. Oh, what I have prepared for you. It's beyond your wildest dreams, but I need you to come here. The mind wants to go back. Or the mind is reading the news and going, oh, my God. We're going to hell in a handbasket. Or we're trying to get to that future success up here by employing the tips and tricks and hacks and we're not valuing right here where we can add a little bit of intention. One pure intention in this moment. One pure intention. Joy, love, appreciation. All the things in life that money cannot buy. Money can't buy it. Money can't buy the embrace of a human that loves you. You see the sand as I hold the intention? You see it? I just tilt the glass a little bit. Gordon and I were talking about this. If we just tilt the glass, you can see the sand bouncing off. See it? Oh, see it bouncing? 
It's like life hitting. It's bouncing. I can't determine where it's going to go, but I can direct it in this moment. I can direct it. But if I'm in, buried in, in here trying to get down, resurrect a past moment, or I'm worrying about the future, I'm not here. I can't direct this moment. I'm thinking my goodness, my greatness, my potential is somewhere else at some other point in time. And it's only right now. So thanks, Gord, for that little thing you pointed out. I'm going to share something with you here. I want to give you a little, <laughs> a little preparation. I, I want to share with you my setup. So here, let me show you this right now. I just had a butterfly come by. Somebody knows the name. It, it, it's, it looks like a monarch, but it's yellow. What's the name of that butterfly? I know some people know that. So we have butterflies, we have church bells, we have your shares. Let me get back to some of your shares. Well, if I have a signal, I'm good. So have you made some mistakes? Have you made some mistakes? Here's what I know. When you are in the moment, it's spacious. It's not constricting you. You feel liberated expansion stress comes in to constrict tighten up I got to share the story because I know it's getting close on time okay bug spray on the hands rub the face not good so this past week I went to um Julie Gandy had took, taken me through her process. It's an online assessment. It's a live Zoom call with her. And then I physically went to visit her. And she's a heart math coach. And I had some downloads. Heart math is your ability to stay in a state of coherence. And without getting into all the details, when we pause and breathe and we do a conscious breathing, what's happening and this is Austin's perception and based on study too. the brain and the heart synchronize. So rather than thinking I got to get out of my head, there's a synchronicity between the brain and the heart. And then you, it's almost like you're rooting down. And in that state, it's called coherence. There's a state called coherence. It's a beautiful rhythm of, just think of a beautiful rhythm of the body. It's inner peace. And so Julia is a massage therapist. She's walking me through her process. And of course she does some cues and she just intuitively does things that are like massage related, but not really. It just depends on what, what she's getting because we tend to store emotions in our body. And I had start to see these visions of like purple hue and yellow and and then there was some, I had some family stuff going on, you know, and there's my, I come from a lot of conflict, lots of love, but lots of conflict. And I had this download uh, where I have this vision of my, my parents when they went through a divorce. And that was my moment of unworthiness, broken, you know, um, witnessing this and the whole story. And I had gone back to this vision and I had some awakenings around this vision through my journey that got me to here. So like there was some break, major breakthroughs around this vision. But every time I go back to this vision, I would see it like I'm in the dark room. Parents are in the kitchen. They're battling. They're fighting. There's lots of verbal stuff going on. And something interesting happened. Like profound like inner work. And it was, it wasn't like bells and whistles going off, but here's what happened. I went back to this vision 
And instead of just seeing it as it was, I got up in this vision. I got up as a boy. I walked into the kitchen. And I hugged my mom and dad. And I said, I love you. And we were in a circle. That's the power of just being in your natural state. Did I change the past? I don't know. Maybe. It's all an illusion anyway. And what it said to me, that love is there. It transcends what we think it is. But that happened in a natural state of coherence when I'm in my heart. There was a time before thoughts and words, but we shall not cease from exploration. And in all of our exploring, we shall arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. You are worthy, you are enough, and you are loved. And as this process continued for me, that's what came down through me through my mom. Well, W-E-L. And I called her, I told her, I said, Mom, you're worthy. You're enough and you're loved. Regardless of the noise that happened, the behaviors of others, the hurt, you are not the hurt. You're not even the thought. I think our biggest challenges come when we are unconscious and we don't have the awareness of the deeper part. Eckhart Tolle calls it the deep I am. I am. You are. And if you are, there's a purpose. There's no I am without purpose. If you are an I am in the physical manifestation of right now, there's a purpose. There's just a lot of noise that made you think that's what it is. And I always say, depression, trauma, it's when the deep I am becomes, it vanishes and you form to the thought identity of it. You form to the, what, the happening, the thought, the false belief, and you live your life based on that false belief. But the deeper part, because if, and I'll go back to the job, if you had a job and it, your identity was, this is who I am, success. And that becomes lost. You lose the job. The money goes away. You go bankrupt. You lose the relationship. And now you're, you're left in the vacuum and the void. And you're like, oh, my God, what, what am I? Who am I? Who am I? Well, here's the beautiful thing. You're still there. You're physically still there, even though the identity is gone. And if you're still there... And you can just detach from that, which is, you feel the pain of the loss, but you're not attached to it, which is suffering. Attachment is suffering. Now, you can begin to open up to the present moment. It's 
going to pause for a moment and just allow this to continue and look at your shares. <laughs> I'd be saying, oh, no, I never make mistakes. <laughs> I've, we've all made mistakes. Lots of mistakes here. Still here, though. I've learned so much from them. I'm thinking I might make some more. Yes, we will. We're going to make some more. Mandy's being really, really uh, emphatic. Be in this moment. This is where life is. One pure intention. What one pure intention do you want to hold today? So I'll go back to that Cartole for a minute. He says there's three, I forget the thing, but it's three. One is acceptance. Become in alignment with what is. The isness, what is acceptance. I'm in alignment. If I'm not accepting, if I'm not, I'm out of alignment. This should be that way, should have, could have, would have, right? Out of alignment discontent, stress, constrictive, non-acceptance. And and if somebody if you had something really big happen in life and you and you say it's not that easy, I just can't get to acceptance, then I would just say be aware of your unacceptance. Does that make sense? Just cuz some things happen in life where we can't just flip a switch and go, "Oh, I accept it. Sunshine and rainbows." And in those moments, and this is Austin's adding to this just be aware, I can't accept this right now. I'm in, I'm in a state of non-acceptance of said happening. Become aware. That's it. And just allow yourself that gift. Now, if you are in a state of acceptance and you're in alignment... You can move into joy where you get lost and maybe you're on the hiking trail and you're just completely like, oh, wow. Or you're traveling like Duchess DJ, gallivanting like a royal. And you're just looking around. You're like, wow. You're just in the moment. Joy, you're not, you're not thinking about it. You're just in the moment. It's like pure joy. And then number three is enthusiasm. Entheos, God within. Structural uh, tension, healthy. Like you, you have a destination in mind, so you have joy in the moment, and there is a destination, or, or I say, like what I say is an expansion. I don't like to, it, certainly if you climb a mountain, you're, you're going to get to the top of the mountain, but sometimes it's, what is it? It's the journey. So rather than thinking the top of the mountain's everything, if I am expanding from here and I'm climbing the mountain, think about what I'm going to see on the way up and the joy and the observation of beauty everywhere I look. Now I'm just expanding out from where I am. And this is my big awakening. The disease of the world today is that there's a future moment that's going to be better than now. It's a utopia. Now's flawed. The future moment is better. And I said to myself, now can only get better right now by the smallest seed that you can sow of goodness faith the size of a mustard seed water it fertilize it appreciate it what do you appreciate about yourself type in what you appreciate about yourself let's just do it what do you appreciate about you what do you do in your most natural state We'll call it the childlike state. I'm like a child, literally. I'm like a kid. I am like a, I, I am. Sometimes I get like too serious, right? Like, oh, I'm going to, like, I, but at the heart, I want to connect. I want to bring value. I want to teach. I want to bring experiences and just joy, bliss in the moment. Watermelon Sugar song just popped into my thoughts. You mean the 
watermelon sugar. Oh wait, watermelon sugar. Uh, watermelon sugar. Uh. I don't know the words, but hey, why not? We'll just break out into song. I want to share that emotional moment with you because I want you to um, understand that how powerful it is. You are joy. You are love. You're well. You're worthy. You're enough. You're loved. Take that with you. Uh, Mama Mo is with us. Good morning, Mama Mo. Sending you a big hug. What do you appreciate about yourself? What do you appreciate about yourself? Mandy is the butterfly. Yeah, that was Mandy that just flew by. <laughs> Fall is setting in. There's a subtle shift right now. We are feeling that. Yeah, Julie's program is amazing. I'm gonna and by the way, a little commercial. We're planning a retreat in Costa Rica in February. Uh, February around President's weekend. It's very limited. Uh, we're looking at like 15 people. And that includes some of the folks. And I believe Julie, we're talking about Julie doing this process on site in Costa Rica. Oh my gosh. Transcendent healing power, pure presence in Costa Rica. I'll facilitate it. Life-changing. Life-changing. Pure presence, pure you. learn from the mistakes. They're not mistakes. They are teaching points. Yes, Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about the brain, heart, coherence. Dr. Joe Dispenza's uh, a deep dive. I mean, he's really diving deep. He measures people's biochemistry bef before. And we might do this too. Actually, I am thinking about, actually, Julie and I talked about this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this in Costa Rica. We're going to measure you when you get there, during and after, so we can see the changes. How about that? And then you get to take it with you. It's a practice. It's, a, it's an ongoing practice. I love that. It's just so freeing and liberating. I come from a very dysfunctional family too. Yeah, I'm grateful for my dysfunction. I wouldn't be here. You know, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for that dysfunction. My inner child is healing, is continuing to heal. Thank you, Mandy. I had to stop to listen to this. I had to stop to listen to the deer and the butterfly sightings, the ringing of the bells. I'm merely affirming the messages. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Anilda. But so I got to remember this is going up to the podcast. So Anilda's share. I had to stop to listen to this. The deer and butterfly sightings are ringing. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Beautiful message from a stranger here looking at me. The deer and butterfly sightings, the ringing of the bells are merely affirming your messages. Continue to live on vibrant energy, which stands for love. Nilda's book. Thanks for the share. These divine moments with us. Enjoy your breakthrough moments. Thank you, everyone. So we got five minutes left. So I'm going to just... Um, let me just um, circle of love. I'm just going to go through here and as we bring this to a close. Oh, my goodness, the most important thing. Not most important thing, but I want to share this with you. So one of the things we do, we have the observation cup or the awareness cup or the presence cup. And you can order these now. Um, these are like reminders. So we have these tumblers now. Power, pure presence. Pause and breathe. It's a 30 ounce tumbler. It's 30 US. 30 US. Uh, they're very high quality. Um, they are, I love this. They are designed in New Jersey, right over the bridge. They are made in China, but they are high quality. Not as high quality as a Yeti, but a Yeti goes for $60. So it does have the, the top. And we have one that says live more fully now as well. If you want these, just let me know. And um, let me share this with you real quick. Here's the other one.
So what we do is we, we use this as a symbol. It could be a, it could be a reminder for you to practice pause and breathe, or it can also be a reminder what we do. Um, I liken it, although this cup seems to have a bottom, it's infinite. And its infinite ability is to observe what's happening in the moment. People talking. It's when I step into the present moment. The bells, the butterfly, your shares. How my body feels in this moment. And I'm just filling into the cup. It's the cup of observation, right? Cup of observation. And so the cup, we want the cup to be a reminder What's, what's happening right now? What am I feeling? What am I observing in this present moment? And then I can pause and breathe at any moment and allow, and allow, bring in coherence in any moment. So you can get these if you want these. We have, we're going to have a, a lot of them, 30 ounces water smoothies. If you're trying to drink a certain amount of water, it's 30 ounces. So we want to make those available for you. Just message me. So I got two minutes left. I'm literally just going to pause with you and just share some presence. We're going to end the show. I honor you so much. I thank you. God bless you. And uh, what is your, what do you appreciate about yourself? Just gonna pause. And there go the bells. Can't plan that. Can't plan it. Thank you so much, everyone. God bless. Love you. You can tune in tomorrow morning at 745. You have to just look me up and follow me on Facebook. For now, pause and breathe and live life fully now.